Hey Internet, what's up? It's Big Dave here, and I wanted to check in with you guys with a special video to let you know what we're going to be doing this week. This is the week of the Game Developers Conference, and with it comes the Independent Games Festival. The festival is going to be running the 5th through the 9th, and during the festival we will see many games awarded with many, many prizes. Wonderful independent games will be recognized for the brilliance or just quirkiness that they indeed bring to the gaming world. In the waning days of February, it was announced that On Live, the innovative new cloud gaming service, would be one of the sponsors of the IGF, and to that end, they are offering 16 of the IGF finalists from various categories for free 30-minute demos on the On Live service. So I've decided to take as much time as I can to cover as many of those games as possible, to play those 30-minute demos, and bring you guys summarized first impressions of as many games as I can cram into whatever free nooks and crannies of time that I can find. These will not be the fully fleshed out videos that you are normally accustomed to seeing on my channel. I won't have a lot of information, musings on the developer and the origin of their name, none of that business. I will just show you some game footage of me playing, and I will give a summary of my thoughts. These videos should last 5 to 10 minutes, and my aim is to get at least 5 of them up during the course of the week. Hopefully I'll hit a massive home run and do way more than that, but I think 5 is a reasonable minimum to aim for. Now, that takes care of what we're going to be doing for the rest of the week, but astute viewers may be asking themselves, what the hell are we going to do for the rest of this video? Well, this time's going to be used as an introduction to OnLive for the uninitiated. I'll tell you about the service, give you my thoughts on it, tell you why I'm a long-time user, and I'll also let you know why I think every PC gamer should have an OnLive account. So after that somewhat grandiose entrance, we find ourselves here at the main screen for On Live. Unnatural pause there. <laughs> this is the HUD, the hub, the menu, call it what you will. It is the screen you're going to come to every single time that you log into the service. I'm going to hit you guys with some of the reasons that I like this service, and I think you should at least have an active account for this service talk a little bit about the technology behind it, as well as highlighting a few of the features that I really, really like about the service. First of all, what is OnLive? OnLive is cloud gaming. Yeah, yeah, you've probably seen that commercial, but it's true. OnLive is cloud gaming. You are inputting the actions at your keyboard or controller. Those actions are occurring at a machine that is in a data center far away, and then you are being given a stream, a high-quality 720 uh, P compressed stream of your actions, the result of your actions. So you play the game on a machine that is not yours by playing the game on your machine. Right. Anyway, does it work? Yeah, it works. Uh, how's the quality? Well, it's about the same quality as full screening a 720p video from YouTube. There is artifacting. You can see the compression. I mean, it's streamed compressed video. However, there's no buffering, and for the most part, the service works uh, instantaneously, and that is one of the jaw-dropping things about this service. I saw a quote, I think it was from GameSpot, and uh, paraphrasing the quote, it basically said, you hear about the service, and you don't really think it will work, then you try it, and it works. You know, mind fucking blown. First time I played this, uh, pl played on live, logged into it, looked around, poked around, I probably spent the first 10 minutes my mouth agape, just not believing what this service can do. So latency, as you might imagine, your uh, the speed of your internet connection, your proximity to one of their data centers will matter. Uh, the U.S. is pretty well covered. Europe, it's going to be a different, uh, a different story altogether. But uh, I do pretty well. No complaints. I have a 15 megabits down by 2 megabits up cable internet connection, and I have absolutely no problems utilizing the OnLive service. Why do I like the service? Let's talk about a few of the features. We'll hit them fast, and we will move on. First of all, I really like brag clips. The first time I logged into the service, I spent probably 30, 30 minutes, maybe even an hour, just perusing brag clips. This service gives you the ability to record some of your best moments and post them for everybody to see. 
It's sort of like a YouTube within the service, in a way. Uh, now you're gonna get a lot of this, uh, yeah, jiggly boobies and that sort of thing, especially from Duke Nukem Forever. Hot stuff. This is this, the kind of stuff that folks like to record. You're also gonna get a lot of this sort of stuff. Crazy stunts, perfect games, scary moments or glitches, that sort of thing. Uh, but there is a guy I really like. I think I saw him over here. His name is H. Rubix or Hrubix. Yep, right here. He uses the whiteboard at the beginning of Duke Nukem Forever to draw pictures. That's pretty damn impressive. Look at that fry. You little piece of pizza down there at the bottom. That's pretty amazing. That's definitely a brag clip. And uh, he's got a lot more stuff on there. But this is pretty much what you're going to see. You get home front everywhere. A lot of just cause tricks like this. But you notice when I hit that other clip, let's hit this one here. It starts playing instantly. And the quality is pretty darn good. What is he doing here? Parachute. Oh my god, he's parking the plane in the hangar. That's pretty impressive right there, I must say. <laughs> that is a brag clip. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the service works great. Uh, the videos stream instantaneously. And over Optimus Prime, overall, is very, very <laughs> impressive. And you can kind of see how you'll get into the service and you'll be like, oh, what, what, what? And there are a few games on the service that have nudity. And you can definitely find brag clips, many, many brag clips, showing off the nudity in those games. So anybody out there who wants to really see pixelated boobies, you can see them in abundance on the brag clips section of On Live. One of the other features that blows my mind is the arena. You can go into the arena and you can spectate folks who are currently playing games on the service. What? Yes, it's true. So here we've got somebody playing Saints Row the Third. Uh, if we click on this, we will immediately jump into his game. What the hell? Look at that. We immediately jumped into his game. You can see there are two other folks besides me spectating. And you can cheer them, you can jeer them, you can also chat with them if you have the voice chat options enabled. So uh, that's a cool thing. You know, you could help out a friend who's maybe struggling with a section in a particular game by, uh, you know, by spectating them and, and chatting them, giving them some tips and pointers. Uh, and I imagine it's also open to harassment. So <laughs> use at your own risk, I suppose. But uh, really, really cool features. And again, you notice that happened instantaneously. Boom. We could check out this guy playing Assassin's Creed. We could do any of this and it would just pop into our screen and start playing instantly. I just, I feel like an unfrozen caveman lawyer, you know, I just, I don't understand your ways, I don't get how this works, I don't understand how they pull this off, uh, you know, I, th I think I called this an innovative service, and I really think it is, I mean, these guys have broken some major ground with this thing, and uh, just think about the possibilities, this allows you to play, I could drag out one of my old... Uh, cream color cased computers from the 1990s and if I could get the thing to actually stream uh, the 720p video to actually work uh, with the video I can play the games I can play Saints Row the third on a computer from the year 2000 in decent quality what the hell yeah so for those of you out there with netbooks or laptops that are not very powerful, old desktops, this service opens up the world of gaming to you in a way that you have never had access to before. And let's not forget about the fact that they have tablet versions of this. They have smartphone versions in development. What? Yeah, that's right. You can play Space Marine on an Android tablet. What? What? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. They also have a home version of this for about a hundred bucks. You get a small console unit that essentially is just the middleman, and uh, you get a controller. The controller has some of the actions that are uh, shortcuts, uh, like for instance recording a brag clip uh, bound to certain uh, buttons on the controller. It's a sort of a PlayStation Xbox hybrid controller. It looks like an Xbox controller, but it has the uh, dual analogs. Uh, situated beside one another and the d-pad is up and to the left the way that a playstation controller does whereas that's different on an xbox controller so it's, it's an interesting controller looks really comfortable it's wireless uh yeah <laughs> they've just they've done something here that 
I just wouldn't think is possible. I mean, I am not, in fact, a paid endorser of this service. I'm just a satisfied user, and I want to make sure that before we go into playing the IGF games on OnLive, that you understand what the service is and how it works. Two quick things to cover here, and that is the pricing schemes that they use, as well as the ability to trial any game. Yeah, that's right. Here we have Saints Row the Third. If we would like to take a free trial of this game, just hit the button. We are immediately playing the full version of the game. Just like that. I believe it is a one hour or a 30 minute trial. That's all there is to it. You can rent the game for three or five days, bringing back the concept of renting games. I used to rent games when I was a kid, Super Nintendo games, knock those things out in a, in a three day weekend, a long weekend, get them, beat them, take them back, save myself 40 bucks. Oh god, I hate that song. Sorry, it's just driven into the ground. Uh, if you like it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I've offended you and your musical sensibilities. Uh, but yeah, you did see that the games are pretty much full price. Uh, so that's a little iffy, but, uh, eh, you know, I, I don't have a major problem with that. All right. So that was that. That was pricing system and the trial system. Let's take a quick look at the showcase. Here it is, the 2012 Indie Showcase. Uh, you're basically given the ability to play these 16 games and uh, like them on Facebook. And when you like them, they accrue votes. And when the, the, when the festivities end on March 11th, they will say, uh, oh, this game got the most votes. I don't know. So let's take a look at the games that are available, and uh, it can give you a good idea of what you're going to be seeing in the week to come. Adam Zombie Smasher, of course, an amazing game that we've already covered on the channel. Uh, let's see, definitely want to do Dear Esther. That is a, a game that I've definitely wanted to cover uh, since it came out. Dear Esther is uh, more like a full motion novel, I've been told. Uh, you don't really have a lot of ability to interact. There's no hacking, no slashing, no quick scope, and none of that stuff. You're really just experiencing the story from a first person perspective. So, uh, really looking forward to that. Dust Force, definitely going to play that. You'll notice over here, in the lower right, it's showing you what control methods are available. I really like that. Uh, it just immediately lets you know what you're going to be able to use. Everything at least has keyboard and mouse. If it has controller, it will show the controller. I'm really interested to try Dust Force because Dust Force is a precision platformer, and I want to see how the OnLive service holds up to that. I have played many games. I've free trialed many games through OnLive, but none of them have really been what I would consider a precision game. So if there was some latency, I didn't really notice it. I definitely think I'm going to notice with Dust Force, but we shall see. What else do we have here? English Country Tune. Don't think I've heard of that one. Looks like a puzzler. Might give it a try. Frozen Synapse, definitely. FTL, I will be playing for sure. Loom, I will definitely give it a try. Nitronic Rush, sure, why not? I've been meaning to play that for a while. It's from the good folks over at DigiPen. It is available for free. Uh, Pop, hmm. Oh, it looks retro pixelated. Wow. It looks like a Nintendo developer's weird dream. Okay. Space Cam, not even touching it. Like, don't get me wrong, Space Cam looks like an amazing game. It just looks like school. It looks like an educational game. I've been told that it doesn't feel like that once you learn it, but God, it looks like an educational game. Torin, not sure. To the Moon, I've definitely heard a lot about To the Moon. And Way, same there, heard a lot about Way. So uh, you can kind of get an idea. I can see at least five games that I definitely want to play for you guys. We'll see if we can get more in as the week progresses. Well, this is on live. If you are so inclined, give the system a try. I definitely think every gamer should at least sign up for an account. And uh, if nothing else, spend an hour watching brag clips of uh, pixelated cleavage. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and once again, I'm not a paid endorser of the OnLive service, just a satisfied user. All right, until next time, take it easy.